<laughs> Sorry, everyone, I'm just finishing my chicken. <laughs> I'm just going to write a letter, excuse me. Dear Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm trying to write a letter, excuse me. I really like your hair. It's combed forward in the style of the Emperor Nero. Also, I believe Caligula also combed his hair forward like that. I wonder if you know who Caligula is. Caligula was a mad Roman emperor. He only uh, was emperoring for a couple of years. He took over from Tiberius, who was a mad old bastard. <laughs> anyway, Caligula made his horse a senator. <laughs> Doesn't that sound stupid? <laughs> Actually, not so much anymore. <laughs> anyway, Justin Bieber, I just wanted to say... Turn on. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say I think you're fabulous with that song you do about love. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know that song where you sing, you know, you, you like things? <laughs> That's my favourite. Anyway, I just wanted to warn you anyway, because a friend of mine is a chap by the name of Danny Bonaducci. He's a lovely man, Danny. He's got a lot of tattoos. He's a bit crazy and he loves steroids. But... <laughs> Danny was a big star when he was 16 years old. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get a better quiet to write my letter? <laughs> anyway, some things happened in between. You know, because everyone liked him because he used to comb his hair forward as well. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Don't ever marry a prostitute. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Can I wait? Is it going? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that noise in the letter, Justin. The audience won't let me finish my -la -la. letter. <laughs> Just turn it over. Anyway, the main thrust of this is just to say that I'm very concerned that a young man like you is getting all this fame and attention, whereas an old bastard like me is getting next to nothing. <laughs> no, what I meant to say is... Be very careful, young fella, because, well, I don't want to seem bitter or jaded, but there are some people in show business who aren't very nice. <laughs> And most of them are called agents and lawyers. <laughs> Yours, TV's quick friend. Get that in the mail, will you? Get it right out of the mail right away. All right, we'll be right back with this full of chicken. <laughs> The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's new Real Burgers from across America. There's no place like the neighborhood.
great job, everybody. That was fantastic. No one will guess it's a machine. <laughs> Greg's not a machine, is it? I thought it was highly trained hobos gathered from around Los Angeles. <laughs> it's a machine and hobos combo. <laughs> We get the hobos from L.A., we promise them, maybe you'll get some free chicken, maybe you won't, we bring them in. <laughs> All you have to do is pretend this is any good. <laughs> ah, Thursday, June the 3rd. If, as I recall, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> Chicken can't be far away now. <laughs> Do you know today is a real day, this? I'm not making this up. It's called National Repeat Day. <laughs> it's a real day, this. It's called National Repeat Day. <laughs> no, it's a real day. It, it's the day we're all supposed to celebrate television repeats. But we're going against the grain. This is a brand new episode. <laughs> Unless it's a repeat in the future. <laughs> in which case, all hail Emperor Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's going to turn out. Yeah, that's right. Your life's going to be great, Justin, and don't worry. <laughs> Nothing says my life's going to be great for a long time that a lot of fame and success and money when you're 16. It'll be awesome. <laughs> Guaranteed a happy adulthood. No problem there. Everything's going to be awesome. Plain sailing from now on. <laughs> hey, you know that Sir Paul McCartney played at the White House last night? He dedicated a Beatles song to the First Lady. He's, he did Michelle. Isn't that lovely? Oh. Then for Joe Biden, he played Fool on the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Paul's getting up there, but he still looks great. Do we have a picture of Sir Paul? There he is. Uh, <laughs> we put that picture up in honor of National Repeat Day. <laughs> When was that, like seven years ago now? No, we've only been doing the show five and a half years. About, about six months after the show started, I showed a picture, that picture, and said it was Paul McCartney. And the LA Times said, oh, without any apparent irony, he showed a picture of Paul Mc of Angela Lansbury and said it was Paul McCartney. It was just boring, so I've showed it. I try to show it once a week ever since. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's great news today if you're into Mark Twain because uh, publishers announced that the volume one of uh, Mark Twain's autobiography is coming out this fall. It, it's no more than a, it's more than a century since he wrote it. It's a uh, hundred years, a hundred years, a century. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if he uh, references uh, his will to make sense to modern audiences. For instance, uh, one of Twain's first jobs was uh, writing for something called a newspaper. <laughs> Which is kind of like a blog, but more papery. Eh? <laughs> Mark Twain was considered the greatest humorist of his age, but that's only because he didn't live in the same time as Carrot Top, clearly. <laughs> Twain was good looking too, great hair, piercing eyes. Do we have a picture of Twain? There he is. <laughs> Man, he was good looking. Let me see him again. Ding dong. Ding dong is right. Ding dong is right, Jeff. Well, let me. I, I, that was before he grew the moustache, obviously. Now, Mark Twain is responsible for a number of famous quotes. He said, he, uh, he said, uh, I have never let my schooling interfere with my education. I wish I could say something like that. My most famous quote is, I think I broke the toilet again. <laughs> are excited about this autobiography, though, because Mark Twain gave explicit instructions in his will that it couldn't be published until a hundred years after his death, because apparently he attacks people in the book. He disses them, as the young folks say. <laughs> he wanted, he wanted to, to make sure that they weren't alive so he wouldn't get their feelings hurt, but I'm thinking a hundred years? That's a bit excessive. Like, were some of his enemies babies or something like that? <laughs> ah, babies. You make me so angry with you. Why, you babies with your crying and your poo and your little diapers, why, you make me more angry than I could ever be. <laughs> By the way, that's an awesome Mark Twain impression. How why? does he do it? I don't know. They just come to me, Jeff. Why, those little babies, they're making me so angry I could put on my hat. 
anyway, my hat's off to Mark Twain for writing down what he thought was uh, he thought and then sticking to it. So what if it offends people? I say do it. You know, see nowadays nobody sticks to anything. Too many people get mad and then you know they get mad and they say stuff and then people say, hey, we don't like that, and they go, oh, I'm sorry, it was my parents. <laughs> I have to go to rehab, obviously. I, I didn't mean to say stuff that you didn't agree with. <laughs> Why, those little babies, they make me so angry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh the idea of Mark Twain getting angry at babies. Oh, I'm so angry at babies. I'm going to just have, I'm trying to write a book and they keep crying and yelling. <laughs> anyway, one of the big revelations in this book apparently is that Mark Twain, this is true, I'm not making it up, he had a thing for sex toys. I know! <laughs> apparently, Mark Twain and his secretary would give each other vibrators. <laughs> his favourite was something called the Suckleberry Finn. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupidest crap I've come up with in years. <laughs> Why those little babies? Anyway, I'm just saying, they did, it's true, they used to give each other vibrators which were difficult to operate because batteries had not yet been invented. <laughs> So they probably had to power it Ben Franklin style. They would tie a kite <laughs> to the end of the vibrator. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a kite to the end of the vibrator and wait for a thunderstorm. <laughs> Cutting. <laughs> I just had an idea for another book. <laughs> I'll be getting another Peabody for this, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, it's time for a commercial break, which is good, because I'm angry at babies. <laughs> Just like Mark Twain. <laughs> You're right, Jeff. Time's a wasting. <laughs> Sometimes I think he doesn't even listen to me. He just says whatever the hell he wants. Is that true? <laughs> That's a robot fart. That's very rare. That is very rare. Very few people have ever heard that. <laughs> You're right. Oh, he's embarrassed. Bless him. Are you embarrassed, Jeff? Yeah. All right, I'll talk to him during the break. I'll see you in a minute. Can Jeff. <laughs> Do the thingy. Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Twitter. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than my Atma Gandhi. And emails. Alright, uh, let's see. Um, this is from uh, Rose in Miami, Florida. Uh, Rose says, uh, Dear Craig, I'm going to Las Vegas for the third time. Oh, Rose! <laughs> Rose! No! <laughs> Rose is going to Miami. Uh, no, she's going to Vegas. She lives in Miami. I can't keep up with Rose. <laughs> She's going to Las Vegas for the third time. She says, what can I do to make this trip most memorable? Rose, I think it's time for a tattoo on your ass. Ding dong. Ding dong would be good. You ding on one cheek, dong on the other. Ding dong, it's Rose. All right. Um, this is from uh, Sarah in Rockville, Maryland. I love Maryland. I got crabs there. in Vegas. <laughs> Ding dong. 
Anyway, uh, Sarah says, my parents named my older sisters after flowers, but named me Sarah. Am I the least favorite? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's not the, the least favourite. They just probably got, kind of went, oh, Sarah's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait a minute. This is from uh, John in Bayport in New York. John says, Craig, my best friend wants to get a tattoo to impress a girl. What kind of tattoo could do that? <laughs> Ding dong on your ass would do it. I, I like to think that girls are impressed by twos, but, uh, by twos. <laughs> I'm not impressed, but my friend and I together, we are certainly impressed. We're only impressed by twos. Noah led the girls that were impressed by twos onto the ark. <laughs> I don't think girls are that impressed by tattoos. I have three tattoos, and I don't think anyone's really that impressed. <laughs> Although I'm quite impressed that I've got tattoos because I'm kind of a douche. <laughs> but I've got three tattoos, which would hint at perhaps badass. <laughs> Not really, but maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's time for a commercial break, so uh, I'll just be here. Waiting. <laughs> Till you get back. And if you don't come back, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Until the cobwebs form around me. And the vines grow up and around my neck. And slowly choke the life from me. For I will wait for you for about three minutes. Hurry up. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show where we kind of get annoyed at babies we do. Why, with the little poopy diapers, they're always interrupting me when I'm trying to ride my stuff. <laughs> my uh, first guest tonight is a very talented actor. He's a good friend of the show. He's got a really lush beard. <laughs> Please welcome Adam Goldberg, everybody. Adam Goldberg. I'm good. I'm it good. was How a lot lusher like four days ago. You look very, your beard's very lush. Well, I got a call, you know, I got kind of a last minute call. Friend of the show means somebody canceled, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> Actually, no, no, as it turns out, no, I'm just looking over. He's like, no, nobody canceled. We just, uh, we wanted you back. You, really? It's impressive. <laughs> yes, well, anyway. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. That being said, it was a fairly last minute call. Oh, it was last week. And I, right. um, you know, and I've taken a little, I've taken a little time off. About eight months. So I had about eight months. Because what happened was I did a, a whirlwind promotion uh, tour for that film. Remember I was here for? Yeah, that uh, film. What was it called again? It was called Untitled. It was a, a film about the uh, art scene in New York. Yeah, it was awesome. It was huge, it was a, huge. Yeah, movie. yeah. So we did like a three-hour junket <laughs> for that back in November. And that, you know, it takes a lot because, you yeah, know, you do an hours. interview after the same question, the same for three, three hours, hours in yeah. the same city. You need eight months off Yeah, after no, that. So I, so I decided to take a little break and just, just keep growing my beard, but I realized that it wasn't that TV friendly. I mean, it was, I didn't believe it's good it or not. Though, and I like your hair, it's combed forward like the Emperor Caligula. <laughs> That's because I'm actually... Uh, nah, you don't. No, I know, no. it starts, the recession starts around no, here and moves don't. back. But I do, I have a remarkable guy. You have an incredible team in the makeup department, and they do... A, a fantastic comb over, obvi obviously. Obviously, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, this is all combed up from my chest, around the back, and then over the top. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, no, mine is, mine is all back and then swooping forward. Um, I mean, I was gonna have it all epilated or Sally, Han Sally Hansen. Sally Hansen? What the hell are these terms? I know I, nothing of this hairdressing talk. Sally Hansen is like, you know what Nair is, right? Yes, I do. Right. Because you're a swimmer. Uh, yeah, yeah I, right. love, I like to feel like I'm a dolphin right. in the water. I know, so do I. Or in the bar. Right. Or, in the, or, or in the bath. Oh, in the bath. Yeah. I like to feel I'm a dolphin in, in the, the bath. bath yeah. yeah. You know, that's the name of my, my autobiography. Dolphin in the bath? It is, it is. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, I had a friend who drunk, drunkenly, uh, Sally Han... I just like Sally Hansen as a verb. Right. Like, I'd never heard of it. But is it the same as Nair? I think it's like Nair. I think they make a series of... Or she makes a series of products. Right. Uh, Sally does. And, uh, and so he apparently sa Sally Hansen his, his, uh, his entire, entire body. body, like, you know, drunk, you know, many, many, many years ago. He's got a second child on, on, on his way, and I don't want to, you know, embarrass him. <laughs> Stephen Ur Erdman. Steven Erdman. Yeah. Steven Erdman. Yeah. Let, me, let me write it down. Yeah. So, but, that, uh, um, so, and if you yeah. Google him, I'm sure that you'll find some picture of him just as fresh as a, as a, as a baby's I did bottom. shave my entire body once in Winnipeg because I was bored. <laughs> Don't make me leave this podium. <laughs> yeah, you're right there, Jeff. Jeff is terrific. Jeff has a huge metal prod right up his behind. Um, <laughs> Not ding <only> dong. <laughs> Actually, he yeah. is quick. He's yeah. quick on his pole. He Pete. is quick on his yeah. pole. Yeah. Hey, so uh, what's the deal then? Uh, you shaved your body and you no, had I, moles. No. Stephen and... Erdman. Stephen Erdman uh, of New York uh, shaved his shaved his body. No, no you're talking about. Oh, your... oh, right. So I had these moles, and then I sh and I and I had to shave because I had to get them removed and biopsied or whatever, and they were pre-cancer. Um, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> They said to me on the, they do pre-interviews, you know, and they say, do you have any funny stories? And I said, I have this hilarious one where I'm really paranoid and hypochondriacal, and I found these moles, and it turns out that they were atypical, and I should get them removed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so, you bought anyway, a house. Anyway, so I did a little, yeah, so you bought a house. So, you bought a house. All right, all right. Um, How's your dating life? Yeah. I, um, I had a... Uh, well, do you like airline realized... peanuts? What's do you enjoy airline peanuts? That's so bizarre. Well, I was just trying to get no, you... No, 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 I was just talking to my girlfriend. About... I'm not kidding you about airline peanuts. You have a girlfriend? I know. <laughs> well, you didn't have a girlfriend the last time you were here. And yes, I, I did. You... I, mean, I just don't talk. What do you mean? I, I do. Yes, I do. Well, I, you... I can't... I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I did. This is the same girlfriend from eight months ago? Yeah, yeah, but we were not talking about... Look, I was just... No, in... no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get back to this. I don't, don't ask, I don't tell. You know what I mean? Until that's repealed, I'm, my lips are sealed. So, you, you have a boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gay. Why is that so strange? It's I, not strange. I'm just trying to get yeah, the truth. No, I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay and I'm straight. I'm both. I'm bi. Really? I'm try, man. Really? So, yeah. so I feel does like your we've girlfriend have a beard? What, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend is the beard. Your girlfriend is, is the, the beard. beard. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, because... Anyway, it's not the point. The point is I shaved, and I realized that I was in far worse shape than I had always imagined because my hair had created some sort of imaginary six-pack. Ah, the way that it yeah. grew, <laughs> it grew in such a way that I was like, I'm pretty fit. Comb yourself into muscles. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So when I had to shave this area, I'm like, I'm, I'm like getting that skinny fat guy thing. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? No, I, I've, I used to have that. Now I just have fat, fat right, guy. Right, right, yeah. fat, fat guy. But that's not, you know, where you're like, and then you're, that's something little, going on. You know yeah. what they call it? The uh, pupic. A puppet. A little puppet. A little puppet. A little puppet. It's a Yiddish um, word. You puppet. I don't know about that. I'm only, you know. What? I'm only half Jewish. I don't know about that, you know. Um, so, uh, hard to believe. Yeah, that and the girlfriend. Yeah. Adam Goldberg, everybody, will be right back. Because that's not a good sign. How long has so I been there? for yourself is a good sign to me. I feel like that's been there the whole time. It they're has just like looming over your shoulder. Yeah, they're like, Craig, if, if you need it, Adam no, Goldberg. What I think is great is that they have these little signs they put up on the camera said, Adam Goldberg will be right back. Mm. Like, I don't know, after doing this for five and a half Tootsie Fruits years, right. that, that, that what happens after the commercial break is that we come back. Right, of course, of course. Although, after a few more, uh -oh. I don't know that you will come back. Yeah, um, you want to keep me coming back? You keep I, I, I get up coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
So, do we have a minute to discuss? Because uh, this is a this we get all the time you need. Fascinating. Pal. You so, need? his name is Jeff. Jeff Peterson. Jeff Peterson. Yeah, he's a skeleton robot. He's right. a sidekick. That's a great idea. It's my metaphor for deconstructing uh, the the dead art form of the late night talk right, show. Right. No, you're like a you're like a, a Dadaist uh, uh, host. That's right. Which yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Most of America is just just <laughs> rolling in their lazy boy right now as I make that <laughs> reference. Um, but uh, yeah, no. When I when I was gonna, it's a great because you wanted to go like super generic with the name, right? Jeff Peterson. Yeah, because yeah, I, I was gonna, I try was gonna do that because I was gonna change Adam Goldberg. You know, many years ago. To actually, what? Uh, to Steve Johnson. <laughs> because I always when I I look in the mirror, I see a Steve Johnson. I know that's not what I know that's not what people. What people see, you know, I've come to appreciate that. People see but, a Johnson. Well, I think the people <laughs> people might see people might see Johnson. You see your Johnson in the yeah. mirror. People I'm might see. This. You look at your Johnson in the mirror. You call it Steve. Basically, then... basically, what I'm getting at is, yeah, your girlfriend's I, a dude. I don't I, get any of this. Basically, I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend who's a beard. Yeah. Who shaves me so that when I look in the mirror, I can better see my Johnson. <laughs> Doesn't seem weird to me at all. Not at all. <laughs> Adam Goldberg, everybody, will be we'll right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. You can see him in San Diego, uh, July the 2nd, at the Brit Scripps Inn. It's a tiny little place. You get right in close and see what he's doing. <laughs> it's a close-up magician. This is going to be awesome. I love this stuff. Please welcome Jamie Ian Swiss, everyone. Jamie Ian Swiss. It's a pleasure to be here. A it's, pleasure it, to be it's here. A, it's lovely to meet you. And I know the first thing I, I noticed as a close up magician that your sleeves are rolled up, which leaves me surprised. Well, they always ask about that. They, it's ridiculous. You make a piano disappear, they go, it's up your sleeves. You know, it's the only thing they can think of. You can make a, a piano disappear close up? What's the comment? Okay. <laughs> so, I uh, like them. I like them a lot. How, how old are you? Young, five. <laughs> you know, I, I'm I, angry at myself. <laughs> The babies. Yeah. Uh, you know, I follow you on Twitter. Oh, you do? I do, I do, I do. And uh, I noticed, I couldn't help notice last week, I think you said you were in Vegas and you don't smoke, drink, or gamble. Mm. So basically we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> but, I, but I enjoy the company of prostitutes. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Uh, uh, now, I don't gamble either, but I, I know a little something about it. Oh, right, okay. And uh, so... Uh, so these are cards. See, are well, cards involved in your man, work? You are. Yeah, all right, all right, I wish all right. I had. Knock it off. Uh, all right. <laughs> so, you know, uh, for example, I've learned if you sit down at a poker table or a uh, blackjack table and the dealer does something like this, you should probably get up. Yeah. That's Jamie's gambling tip of the day. Yeah, that's right. So if someone's really good with their right. fingers, leave. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's a good idea. So, uh, but even if, even if you don't... <laughs> It's nice, like color commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So uh, even if you don't play uh, gamble butts, though, you're familiar with the cards. Oh, yes? I've, I've seen cards You can many see times. these okay. Yes, and, yes. Uh, just look them over. Just think of any cards. Ten of clubs, see, of king of clubs. Right, but then you see, if you announce them like that, then later when I say ten of clubs, king of clubs, no one's amazed except maybe you. I would be amazed, yeah. <laughs> so, so let's try it again. Look them over. Just think of any some card cards. Some cards. Some cards. I'm not telling you which ones. You, but you're thinking of one. Right. right. Okay. I mean, have you got one already? Uh, I'll think of one Did if you want. Did you? Yeah. You have one. If you want. That, that's, that's the idea. Okay. You, you, you pick them, I find them. They've been doing it this way for thousands of years. So, uh, okay, I get the feeling it's... Uh, well, keep a picture of it up in your mind. I'll try and reach it and pluck it out without knocking too much over on the way. Fair enough? This is empty in there. You okay. uh, I get the feeling it's a red card. Is that correct? Yeah. I get the feeling it's a diamond. Is that correct? Yeah. I get the feeling I have your attention now. Is that correct? Yes, you do. But, but look, the fact of the matter is there's no way I could possibly know what card you were going to think of just by looking all these cards over. No. So that means I need to rely on you to tell me the truth when I show you the card. Fair enough. Okay. Great. Could you loan me a hand for a moment just like that? Thank you so much, sir. Tell me the truth. Were you thinking of the seven of diamonds? Yes or no? No. Oh, bummer, dude. Uh, if it wasn't a seven, though, what was it? Name your card out loud for me. If you jack will. of diamonds. Wait a minute. You, you looked over all these cards. All right. You thought of the jack of diamonds. Yeah. Would you like to see some real magic tonight? Yes. Watch. A 
I believe you're holding it. I just poo pooed my pants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's really, really odd in every way. I've taken what? some powerful narcotics, man, and that is odd. That's really strange. And you don't have to go to rehab for this. No. Yeah, well, so, okay, then let's the do more. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. So that was a card that you just thought of, right? Which is yeah. pretty good. But we'll do one the old-fashioned way. Right. Pick a card. It's the international symbol for pick a card. All right. And uh, take a look at that. Now, this is going to be a little... <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm trying to You're be... You're helping. Yeah, I'm being magician -y. Your idea of helping. Uh, yeah, they all do that. Right, that's, okay, that's, sorry. Right. Uh, this is a little adventure, actually, in uh, time and space. So uh, we're going to begin uh, by noting the time. Yeah. And I've got about uh, 125, would you say? 125? 125. Right, 125. Okay. All right, 125. So, uh, Good. So on your side of the card, rather than just remember your card, right. you could, if you, on your side, other side. All right, right If right. you would just write the time, sign your name, feel free to add to your eBay, anything you like. Craig. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. And now by, you know, signing the card like that, you don't have to remember your card anymore, you just have to remember your name. Good. Helps it's the pen. The secret's in the pen, no, isn't it? What? No, no, no we no, don't no, no, no. need the pen. Uh, so that's the... <laughs> That's, that's the time part. This is going to be the, uh, the space part. And the idea is to make the card travel through space and arrive in the card box here. Now, we can do this one of two ways, the easy way or the hard way. Which do you prefer? Uh, hard way. Friend of my ex-wife's? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll show you what you missed by passing up the easy way. First, the easy way. I can do that one. That's true. Yeah. yeah, okay. Apparently, you made a good choice. So we will proceed directly to the hard way. We will leave this here in plain sight for a moment. Here's the card with uh, your yeah. time on it or right, something right. for the folks at home. And uh, we will proceed directly to stay. The, uh, the hard way. A little adventure in time and space. Here we go. Okay, now I don't want to be the one to touch it, so give it a little shake. Yeah. Oh, 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 you hear something? Yeah. Open it up. What do you, what, is, what do you got? That's your What the hell is that? <laughs> Part of my watch. Yeah. It's still running? Yeah. And it's... You think that, you think that blows the warranty? Um... Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. If that's part of my watch... Yeah. Then what? You don't think. Oh. Oh, man. Unfold it. Yeah. Tell me if your uh, time is still on it. Yeah, it was 125. I put Craigie in a couple right of... Right there? Crazy. Time does fly when you're having fun. Wow. Wow. You're... You're one of them shifty customers, aren't you? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. More, 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 more. More? more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah more, more. We are a type. I don't give a... Ooh, la, la. Come on. All right, all right. One more, one so, more. Okay. One more. So the first time you thought of a card, the second time you took the card, or you took a card out, right? The, the only other fair way to have you select a card besides thinking of one or taking one out is to just name a card, right? Right. So, name a card. Right. Out loud? Either that or you can mail it in, but this could run long. Uh, lady, lady. <laughs> hey, lady. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah, ready, ready you are. The nine of diamonds. Right, okay, so yeah. hold your hand out like this. Nine and, of diamonds. And uh, uh, now we haven't prearranged anything before the show or anything like no. that, right? We've never even barely met, barely. No, no. Uh, What card did you say? The nine of diamonds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crackers, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you, uh... <laughs> you get laid, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> If, if only that worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty much, well, he, it's pretty I, much magic, uh, not miracles, you know what I mean? Work with me. <laughs> uh, have we got time for one more? Can we do one more? One more, one more. Really? Yeah, yeah, one more, yeah. Wow. All right, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try, name another card, name another card. Right, right, just name it. 
Yeah. The Four of Clubs. The Four, and it's nice, it's a stylish thing, you know, it's the, the Four I, of right, Clubs. Right, the talk show host way of, way of doing it. Okay. Uh, that's me, talk show host. Okay, okay. <laughs> so look, so uh, there's no, uh, that's not the, what'd you say, the Four what? Spades? Four, four Clubs? Four Clubs. Four Clubs. Uh, yeah. So that's not the Four of Clubs, no. and that's not the Four of Clubs, right? Right, right. Okay, yeah. all right, fine. So yeah. once again, on your hand, all right, put your other hand on top. Think about that Four of Clubs. Uh, 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 I, I give me my time to think about the card. Uh, I, I, all right, good. I, I, I've dreamed of this moment. <laughs> okay, I don't want to be the one to touch it. Yeah. The card. Hey, What's the matter with hey. these people? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk. Top card. The top card is, in fact, the Four of Clubs, everybody! That's awesome! Jamie, that's fantastic! It's my job. Know, we're done, yeah. Um, where are you doing this thing in San Diego? Uh, the Ritz Scripps Inn, it's a landmark building. I'm doing an evening show of close-up sleight of hand magic called Close Up in Concert on July 2nd. I, I, I like the sound of that. Can I come? Uh, I would be happy to have you. I'll, I'll let you sit in the front row. All right. <laughs> You could play in the yard afterwards. It'll be great. Play in the yard? Yeah. Um, there! We have a sprinkler. Yeah, Jamie Ainsworth, everybody. We were right back. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 213-833-6469 or visit our website at cbs.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Meow. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to apologize to Jeff Stilson, who was the stand-up comedian that was going to be on the show tonight. He's very, very funny, but uh, what happened was that I got kind of involved in the uh, tricks and, uh, or illusions. <laughs> you don't call them tricks. Tricks are what prostitutes do. <laughs> illusions. Is it illusions you call them, or what's the popular word now? Uh, illusions will be fine. Anyway, the upshot was that Jeff Stilson, uh, who was going to come out and do uh, some comedy mad jokes, and um, he doesn't feel like it now. <laughs> Actually, he, he's, he's fine. He, he's going to come back. <laughs> he will come back, won't he? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's nice, Jeff. I happen to know that he's going to Australia for a, a couple of weeks. Um, that's pretty much what we learned on the show, then. <laughs> and we learned that apparently the, uh, the other Jeff, Jeff Peterson, has a, has a pull up his butt. Ding dong! Ding dong is right. <laughs> and we learned that I'm kind of badass, but not really. <laughs> and that's really it. Those magic tricks were really awesome, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. No, don't, please. <laughs> don't clap, he's left. He wouldn't even hear. He'd be like, he'd be like driving outside going, what, what's that? <laughs> One single clap. <laughs> Which doesn't even sound like a clap, just sounds like a sort of fart. <laughs> but just like a little one, like a kind of lean over one. <laughs> There's a button under my desk. Oh, there you go. It says doorbell when I pressed it, and then... <laughs> but there's nobody there. Do you know why? Because it's very late. <laughs> so good night, everybody. Good night.